What I sought to do, Tucker, was to ensure that we had these issues on the table, and I made sure that our candidates, I didn't want them blindsided. That's what I admitted to. That's what I, <laughs> look, what WikiLeaks put that's, out. That's Wiki, the greatest Wiki, spin I've ever heard. I didn't want them spin. blindsided. Hey. <laughs> that's so good. You should do this for a living. That's all. That is hilarious. <sighs> Leaked the questions to a candidate because she didn't want her blindsided. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He's seen plenty of political scandals in his long career. <laughs> And was watching that. I'm sorry, I didn't, you know, I don't typically laugh in the middle of an interview, but I didn't no. want them blindsided. That was, but, you know, but, I, but she didn't answer my question, which uh, it's hard to believe that nobody knew that had happened. I'm, I'm, I mean, maybe no. nobody did, but it's just, it, it's hard to believe that. Well, she, she answered with one of the all time great lines in the history of broadcasting. She, she said, you should have seen the things I leaked to Martin O'Malley. And actually, <laughs> I would like to see that because I believe that's actually a big box of nothing. I don't believe I, I like her as much as everyone likes her. And you should go fishing with her. I'd rather go fishing with Donna Brazil than uh, go fishing with Hillary Clinton because you get yes. the feeling you'll be sleeping with the fishes by the end of the <laughs> afternoon if you go fishing with Hillary. But but I do not. She, she says a lot. of I do not believe believe that Martin O'Malley was, uh, his email account was buzzing uh, with, uh, with helpful non-blindsiding leaks from uh, Donna <laughs> Brazil. Kind of hard to imagine that. Mm. It's interesting, though, the venom that has come out uh, from Democrats since this book emerged. I mean, look, Hillary lost. It was obviously a massive failure on right. her part. That's not hidden. The Democrats know that. And yet, Democrat after Democrat has said, many in the media basically, why would you betray the party, especially before a yeah. critical election, last yesterday's election? They were infuriated by the timing of this. Kind of a Stalinist response, I thought. Well, that's the great advantage that party has always had since the Clinton years. They don't have John McCain's. They don't have figures who sell themselves to the public right. by standing against their own party. And you made an interesting point, Tucker, when you said you wondered why so many uh, media figures uh, take Hillary's side on this. I think Hillary has two kinds of supporters. I think she has bag men like the uh, outgoing Virginia governor, Terry McAuliffe, who right. basically looks at the Clintons and thinks, hmm, I'd like to be doing sleazy uh, ten-figure deals with uh, Kazakh oligarchs just like Bill and Hillary do. And then you have media figures who think, hmm, I'd like to be getting six-figure sums uh, for Clinton Foundation speeches on diarrhea in Africa that nobody can listen to. And I think if you actually take those two groups out, you get to the problem here. The reason right. the Democrat Party has lurched left is because the moderate centrist wing is represented by a corrupt dynastic kleptocracy, i.e. the Clintons. They tainted Democrat moderation and Democrat centrism. That's very smart. And very sad, by the way. I mean, a party ought to have a vibrant centrist wing, and they don't. That's, that's, I've never thought of that. It's a really smart point. Mark Stein, thank you. You always make this Thanks show better. Thanks a lot, better. Tucker.